don't we get, get started? Just to kind of take us back to Saturday. Anything else uh, you, you have to tell us, you know, from Saturday's win? Uh, yeah, I think um, just our overall demeanor uh, was pretty consistent throughout the game. It's the first time that I felt like um, collectively we were super composed. Um, our huddles were intentional, a lot of talk there. Um, obviously, I'm a coach, right? So we need to get better at some things. I didn't love our rebounding. So going into Buffalo, we had to rebound the ball better. Um, and then scout, applying scout. I think at times we did, uh, but not consistently enough. I know it's just one win in a row, but like, mm -hmm. when would you know, or do you feel like you're kind of close to that corner where you're turning the corner, where <laughs> it's not just win one, lose one, you know, you know to getting over that home? I it's me, so I, I think we're always close. <laughs> you know, I think um, it's getting our kids to understand that they're close. You know, and so we had the conversation today. If, if you look at the standings, uh, essentially we're tied for fifth. It, you know what I'm saying? Just based on how the standings are and just getting them to understand that every game is important, but more than that, every practice is important. Um, but when you talk about being close, we're very, very close. Um, and it's just being consistent enough to, to get where we want to go. You know, you mentioned the standings. You know, you and Buffalo are both three and five in the MAC. Mm -hmm. you know, how how big is this game in terms of your goals or where you want to get to and, and you know getting to Cleveland? Yeah, I think it's big. It, every game is big. It's, it's big, obviously, for tiebreakers things and all those things down the line. And um, I wish I could predict the future. So I, I wish that I knew exactly who we needed to be in order for those things to go our way. But at the end of the day, we're still in control of our destiny right now. And every day, every game is super important, uh, just based on the parity, the um, parity in the league. And so, yeah, I think our kids are starting to realize that just watching games around the league, and um, we're definitely getting more educated on things. Have you been able to put your finger on why do you think this team's been so much better at home this year than the road? Uh, I don't know. I even asked them. Like we've we've tried some different things on the road. Uh, sometimes we go with the practice. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we go with the shoot around. Sometimes we don't. It's it's trying to figure it out. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it's just I don't care where we're at. It's an understanding of the readiness has to be a thing wherever you are. And again, that comes with maturity. Uh, what can you tell us about Buffalo? They're tough. <laughs> a Buffalo team is a Buffalo team, and they're tough. Um, I, obviously, they had a coaching change. Becky's doing a great job over there. Um, they are tough. They get a, they get after it. They brought in um, a couple D2 All-Americans that have a chip on their shoulder. Um, they're starting to understand flow now and, and get in their rhythm. Um, but they're in every game. They're tough. They rebound the ball. They're going to go you know, one-on-one, -on -one, very, very talented one-on-one -on -one players. Um, so one-on-one -on -one containment has to be a thing for us, and rebounding definitely has to be a thing for us. All right, six of the league's top 15 scorers are going to be in this game <laughs> on Wednesday. How, yeah. how important – will the difference be, to be determined in the you know, win or a loss of basically who's, be who's big three play, play better? Uh, maybe. I, I think more than that, I think a couple stats that stick out to me are um, their ability to not foul – <laughs> you know, and our ability to get to the foul line, you know, and so I think that's that's got to be a thing. We have to continue to be in attack mode. Um, their defensive numbers are crazy. You know, they do a great job defending the ball. Um, so, yes, as much as we can talk about scoring, I, I want to talk more about who's going to be more disciplined. You know, can we stay within our game plan? Can they stay within their game plan? Because it's very two different game plans. Um, but we go as our, our three go, and I'm sure they go as their three go. And at the end of the day, I want it to be a defensive battle.